Dear Derry. He really is the night before Halloween. <laughs> the only the only way I could possibly be happier is if it was a full moon. That's the only way I could possibly be happier. But eh, give it a little while. It'll full moon will come back around to Halloween again. We'll see. Just be patient. It does tend to do that. Cycle through the, the thingy. Um Um I think I hit puberty again. That would be unfortunate. Um, so let's see. Today, everything was going quite well. Quite, quite well. And I had watched, um, the trailer, because I watched, uh, Jeremy John's review of the trailer for, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. Um, there's a really great, you know, kind of dissection of the, the trailer and, and how it looks and all the different elements of it and whatnot, but... Uh, I realized that I hadn't seen the trailer. And honestly, I didn't even know they were making the movie. But, um, so, it's like, have you seen the trailer? Come and I'm like, no. Oh, my God, I haven't. So, right after I finished watching that, I went and watched the trailer for it. And when it got done, because I had it, you know, full screened and everything, because I like watching it on full screen. And when it got done, as if you watch the video before this, you'll see. Um... And I've got a little screenshot of what I saw. It's, there There are six, you know, movies that are recommended. Because you always get the, at the, at the end of a YouTube video, you get the recommended, here's recommended viewing for you from YouTube. And it's, the first, the top four are exactly the same. They are all, you know, it's the, the exact same section, the same frame from the X-Men trailer. All four of them. One, two, three, four. And then there's, um, in the lower right corner, there's a, a, an image of a clip from, uh, I think it's Peter Dinklage, but of course I know it's Peter Dinklage. I think he's at a convention, he's like at a um, panel or something, because he's you know sitting at a big table with a microphone in front, it's clearly at a panel. But the bottom right picture is the one that, that kind of, uh, it's, it's two Jaguars just going at it. You can tell that they are, mm, they're getting busy. <laughs> if they were wearing boots, they would be knocking them. It was, um, I don't know why, and they were, they were leopards, they were not snow leopards, like I mentioned in the video before this one, um, I don't know, I was just, I had snow leopards on the brain when I was recording it, um, I don't know why YouTube thinks that I want to watch that, I just don't understand, now, in, however, in YouTube's defense, as I mentioned in the, in the video, I, I did recently watch a video that someone had linked in Twitter of two cats, house cats, mating. Maybe that's where it got the idea. I don't know. However, however, if you're going to watch stuff about animals mating, there is a far better selection. I know this sounds creepy, but stick with me for just a second. It's actually really, really cool. There is a beautiful actress named Isabella Rossellini. She is fantastic. Years ago, years ago, she decided that she wanted to do this thing she called green porno. And basically, it's her and, like, this puppeting troupe. And they make all of these puppets and stuff out of, out of like, origami, out of, like, paper and stuff. And she talks about the mating practices of various different kinds of animals and whatnot. Now, in green porno, which was the first series she did... There were no mammals. It was all insects and worms and fish and stuff like that. Very weird. Very cool. In some cases, very funny and very disturbing. If nothing, the snails one about how snails mate. Uh, um, <laughs> just, just look up Isabella Rossellini green porno and you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. I just, I never, ever, ever imagined I would hear Isabella Rossellini say the words, sadomasochism excites me. I just never thought I'd hear that. Anyway, um, they did a second series called, uh, I think it's called Seduce Me. And that is mostly mammals and stuff. And there's deer and whales and, and all sorts of stuff. And um, I also never thought that I would hear Isabella Rossellini say, 
Blow hole sex. Oh, she was in a <laughs> tangent. She was in a a wonderful one of my favorite Tom Selleck movies called Maudie Walsh, where he plays a cowboy, and she is this prostitute that he's madly in love with. That he, he really he really genuinely loves her, and he kind of wants to take her away from the life that she leads, but she, he also doesn't want to give up his life as a cowboy. Um, and it's at the turn of the century, it's coming up into the 1900s, so the cowboy lifestyle is just dying out because there's fences going up everywhere, and like, I, this is an extreme tangent. Um, it's a great movie, I really, really love Tom Selleck westerns, and he does a great job playing cowboys the way they're supposed to be played, and not, you know, that other thing. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, look up green porno. I'll, I'll, if I, if I can find a link, I'll, I'll put a link to it at the bottom. But it's far more adventurous if you do a web search for green porno all on your own, because that rabbit hole goes a couple of different. Maybe I shouldn't talk about porno and rabbit holes at the same time. Well, it's not Easter. We're probably okay. Anyway, um, the other thing, um, except. Uh, we've got most of the Halloween decorations up. Tomorrow night is Halloween. I don't know if I'm going to be recording tomorrow night because we will probably have kids coming by until the wee hours of the morning. I don't want to be in the middle of recording something while there are kids 10 feet that way. You know, knocking and banging on the door. You will note that you haven't heard any peeps from my, my my phone or from my iPad because this time I remembered to turn the volume off. Um, granted, I also haven't gotten any messages while I've been recording this, but that's hardly the point. I would not be able to disable the doorbell or the knocking. I mean, it's, disabling the doorbell is easy enough, but disabling the knocking would be a lot harder. Anyway, so uh, we're at mm, seven and a quarter minutes, so what I would like to do in closing, instead of doing my usual be careless, well, I guess I just did it, but um, I will end with one of my favorite poems. Uh, it's called Wabajack. No, no, wait, the Wabajack is in Skyrim. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> it's Jabberwocky. I learned Jabberwocky a long, long, long time ago, and I love Jabberwocky. It's one of my favorite poems makes not a whole lot of sense. I mean, the overarching story makes sense, but when you look at the individual words, like, what is he talking about? Uh, kind of thing. I used to, way back when, um, we had, <laughs> we had a book of, I think it was, the book was like, you know, huge. I think it was um, Through the Looking Glass or Alice in Wonderland. And that had Jabberwocky in it. It's old, really big, hardback cover, very fancy kind of thing. And it had, of course, Jabberwocky in it. And there came a tradition that anyone who could recite Jabberwocky faster than I could, because I could do it in 25 seconds or less, um, which I will not do tonight, but anyone who could recite faster than me would hold the book. And they would keep the book until the next year and we would hold the contest again. And we did that twice, I think. And then it was like, eh, nobody cared. Um, and of course, I fell out of practice. I couldn't do it in 25 seconds or less anymore. And I doubt I could now. Years of smoking will screw you up. So do what I do and quit. Better yet, do what I didn't do and don't get started. Looks cool. Think it makes you look cool anyway, but the downside is horrible. I'm lucky if I can you know, talk for one minute continuously without getting short of breath. I was about to say I'm lucky if I can tie my shoes and breathe at the same time, but that's because I'm fat. Anyway, so, Jabberwocky. And this will be how I will close out tonight's Dear Dairy. And I'm going to yawn. Ugh. But I'm also trying to inhale as much as I can and try to expand my... Blah, whatever I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. 
"'Twas Brillig and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves and the moam rats outgrabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the magsome foe he sought. He rested side the tum-tum tree, and stood a while in thought. As though in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came crashing through the tulgy woods and burble as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? O oh, come to my arms, my beamish boy! O oh, frabjous dag, halloo, calay! He chortled in his joy. Twas brillig in the slithy toves, did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the mole-wraths outgrabe.